Okay, so let's start by going to new composition. I call this vortex at 1920 by 1080p. I'll then go back to composition, new composition. We'll call this base. We're going to set the height rather than 1080, we're going to change this to 16,000. Then what's come down here, open a new solid. Keep that at the comp size. Come up to effects and presets and type in checkerboard. Double click checkerboard to apply it to the solid and turn the width up to 200. I'll then come back into the vortex and drag in the base. I'll then come up to effects and presets, type in cylinder, apply the cylinder to the base and change the rotation on the x axis to 90 degrees. I'll then come back to the base. Using the image provided, I'll drag it above the black solid and duplicate it three times. You should have four of these images. I'm going to drag one to the bottom, one to the top, and one below each of these. Now you will need to extend these images in order to make sure they fill all the gaps, like so. You're just going to hold down shift when you're moving these images to ensure that they stay perfectly vertical. We'll then come back to the vortex, open up a new camera and have that at a preset of 28 mil and open up the position by pressing P on the camera and pressing C using the z-axis we will drag all the way out until we're outside of the vortex, place a keyframe at the start, go to the end of the timeline and we will drag all the way in and it will automatically place a keyframe. We want to be just outside the end of the vortex, like so. Drag back through and you'll notice the camera pans through the vortex. Now pressing R on the camera, we will hold Alt and click the keyframe on the Z rotation. We'll type in time times 80. Once you've done that, you'll notice that the vortex rotates as we go through. I'm going to press U to close down these options. I'm going to click on the base. Go up to effects and presets and select glow. I'm going to double tap that and apply it to the base. I'm going to close down the cylinder. And I'm just going to play around with the threshold, the radius, and the intensity, like so. Then we're going to go back into the effects and presets. I will type in light burst. We'll apply this to the base. You notice instantly it looks very fast. So I'll we'll close down the glow. And play around with the intensity and the ray length of the light burst. Like so. I'm going to leave the intensity at 110 and the ray length at 58. I'll then go back to effects and presets, type in optic compensation, double click and apply to the base. I'll then close the light burst. I'll then click on reverse lens distortion and alter the field of view, probably up to about 120, just to give it that very fast feel something along these lines, set my to 124. And there you have it. I would recommend trying out uh, Video Copilot's Color Vibrance. Um, that is a free plugin from their website. And that way you can just alter the color of your vortex as you wish. This one, I am definitely gonna go for a rather pale blue. And there you are, sorted.